Hello, I'm Leopold Eyards from the Expedition 16 crew, and you're watching NASA TV. Operator or officer here in the uh, flight control room reporting it uh, was in pre grapple position and now uh, preparing to grapple the 50 foot boom extension. The robotic arm is operated inside the space shuttle cabin. The operation is performed from the aft flight deck right behind the cockpit and uh, supported either through the window or by watching two TV, TV monitors inside. To control the robotic arm, the operator uses a transitional hand controller with his or her left hand and manipulates the rotational hand controller with his or her right hand. A good view as the robotic arm now removing the 50-foot boom extension from its stowed position on the left or port sill of the payload bay. At the end of this boom extension are the uh, specialized cameras that will help with today's inspection activity. That will be a, a meticulous inspection of the starboard wing as well as the nose cap and port wing getting a, uh, some detailed imagery of those uh, leading edge surfaces and the critical thermal protection system, making sure there hasn't been any damage that would cause any concern for reentry. The inspection of the uh, thermal protection system has begun, beginning with the starboard wing, using the robotic arm and the orbiter boom sensor system to get a look at the wing leading edges as the uh, surveys continue on the starboard side of Space Shuttle Atlantis. This is a live view from the Space Shuttle Atlantis, a look there at the uh, order docking system. That'll be the subject of uh, one of the final tasks today. After the survey activities are completed, they'll conduct a checkout of the rendezvous tools as well as installation of a centerline camera and then the extension of the orbiter docking system ring. A look now as the uh, camera coming over the cockpit portion of the space shuttle. Reflection in the uh, windows there. The arm being remaneuvered and positioned in preparation for this nose cap survey which is scheduled to last just about an hour. This is a look inside the International Space Station where the Expedition 16 crew is likewise making their own preparations for the arrival of Atlantis. In the view, flight engineer Dan Tani, 
who will be wrapping up his long duration stay and returning with the STS-122 crew. Commander Peggy Whitson now joining in the view. This a view as the uh, surveys continue and uh, one of the crew members in view there, Hans Schlegel, European Space Agency astronaut, taking a peek as the uh, cameras continue to get that detailed imagery. A minute ago, we heard the spacecraft communicator, Steve Robinson, 